Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get a Google Gemini API key, and then I'll show you how you can save it as a credential in N8N, so you can use it in your AI automation workflows. Open a web browser, go to aistudio.google.com to open up Google AI Studio. Sign in using your Google account. Go to the bottom left corner, just above the settings, you can click on Get API Key, or if you look in the sidebar, there's a dashboard section. Just click that to expand it, and there you will see API keys. Both of these are gonna take you to the exact same place. So if I click this, now we're on the API Keys page. To learn more about the Gemini API, just click on API Quick Start Guide to open up the Google for Developers documentation page. To learn about Gemini API's pay-as-you-go pricing for different models, go to the very bottom, click on pay-as-you-go pricing. This Google AI for developers is an excellent resource. I will leave a link in the description. And to generate a new Google Gemini API key or a secret key at any time, just click the button in the top right corner, create API key. You can add it to an existing product or just click create API key in a new project Remember to always store your API keys securely. You don't want to expose them if you're a tutorial maker like myself, or you don't want to put them in your code base. If you're sharing your code publicly, you don't want to make your API keys visible. Otherwise, somebody could take your API keys, use them in a project, and rack up charges under your account. And if you do ever accidentally expose your API key, or maybe you think that your API key has been compromised, well, you can always delete them and generate new API keys at any time. So what I like to do is save all of my API keys in a password manager. Now I use one password, but you can use any password manager. So I'll copy it to my clipboard. I go into one password and one password actually has an API credentials category. So I'll just click that Google Gemini API and I'll just paste the credential and save it in one password. I'll click the X to close down the dialog box. And now my new Google Gemini API key has been created. It is saved in the dashboard of my Google AI Studio. One thing that you will need to do in order to use the Google Gemini API key is to set up your billing. So come over here where it says plan and click on set up billing and just follow the prompts to set it up. And just note that you're going to be starting out on a free trial, so you're not gonna be charged right away. And if you really want to make sure that you don't get hit with any unexpected charges, you can just set a budget amount. So tell Google, I don't want to spend over $10. And when you start approaching your budget amount, you will get an email letting you know so you can adjust as needed. If you ever need to delete your API keys so you can generate a new one, there's a little trash can in the far right. Just click that to delete. Now I will show you how you can save your Google Gemini API key as a credential in N8N so you can use it anytime you're building an AI automation workflow in N8N. If you ever want to view or to copy your Gemini API key, all you have to do is go into the API column and simply click on the link. Now I'm just gonna click copy to copy it to my clipboard. I'm going to sign in to my Hostinger Virtual Private Server or VPS. Hostinger VPS makes it super easy to install the Community Edition, AKA the free version of N8N. So I can build unlimited AI automations on N8N totally for free or just for the cost of my Hostinger VPS, which is around $5 per month. If you wanna check it out, I will leave my Hostinger referral link in the description of this video, which will get you a 20% discount. I'll click on Manage App to launch N8N. I'll sign into N8N and go to the top left corner. I'll click the plus icon and select Credential. Now right now, all I'm gonna do is just save my Gemini API key in N8N so I can use it anytime I build an AI automation workflow. And I'm just gonna search for Gemini, G-E-M-I, there's the Google Gemini API. I'll click, click continue. I'll go to the API key field. I'm just gonna click in my cursor, paste command V. Notice it's hiding my API key. So you're not gonna be able to actually see your key on N8N, but that's okay. We'll click save. Green is good. 
connection tested successfully is exactly what we wanted to see. That means our Gemini API key is working. We can now use it in any N8N workflow. You can always see your saved credentials by clicking on overview in the left sidebar, clicking on the credentials tab, and there we see our Gemini API key. If you come over here, you can open it or delete it or just simply click on it to open it to get back to that screen. Now in N8N, if you create a new workflow, I'll click plus workflow. I'll click plus to add a new node. I'll come over here and I'll do a search for Gemini. Now I could choose this first option here, but I'm gonna choose the Google Gemini chat model. And now you can see here, all we have to do is simply select our save credential and we can even choose which model we wanna use for our API key, easy as that. The recap. To generate a new Google Gemini API key, open a web browser, go to aistudio.google.com. Sign in to your Google account. In the left sidebar, click on dashboard, click on API keys, go in the top right corner, click on create API key. That is how to generate Gemini API keys. My name is Mike Murphy, your AI handyman. Cheers.